Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Grey Wolf 26 MBRR. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights. You can see at night time if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles and those will be filled by the Outpost RV. Has the hard shell cover with a quick access lid. Directly behind that we have your Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine battery. We have the juice pack option on here which means there's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof and the battery that comes with it. Diamond plate rock guard. We have your curved radius front end. Nice storage up front here. As you can see, they also have the LED light on the inside. Spare tire comes with it. We have your solar charger on the very front there. The camper comes with electric jacks. And how that'll work, there's gonna be a switch underneath here. One leg will come down and hit the ground first. Then the other one will come down and equal out in pressure. And that will stabilize the camper for you. We have your black tempered glass entrance door. Nice 15 foot awning right here with the LED accent light underneath it. Each arm is adjustable that if the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning. Right down here, we also have this holographic light. So at nighttime, you can see that wolf emblem shows up really nicely. So nice feature that they've added there. Outside kitchen, we have your griddle, which is multi-purpose, great to use, mini fridge, ice maker, and your water source all in one location here. There is a gas quick disconnect, so you can just run your um, griddle off the tanks on the camper here. We have your outside entertainment center where your speakers light up blue. We have your TV connections. The TV bracket is the same one on the inside. So you simply lift your TV up, bring it out here and slide it in. You'll notice we have the center cap popped off. Those are the quick, easy lube axles. Each wheel will have self-adjusting brakes as well. And each wheel also has a tire pressure monitoring system. How that works, the side of this will turn red if it's low on air. So I'll unscrew this to demonstrate. That way you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. And it'll also give you your tire pressure on the cap there of what it should be. It doesn't read it in real time, but it'll let you know what the tire should be inflated to. We have your um, other black tempered glass entrance door, oversized grab handle. We have the entrance steps where each leg is adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. Both doors, the front and back, are gonna have that uh, window integrated into the camper and also a full-size screen door. As we move to the back, we are pet friendly. We have your leash latch here so the furry family members can tag along. We also have the ramp door patio system and that is already set up for you so you can see what that looks like. It really opens up the camper, lets in a lot of airflow. There is a screen wall that can roll down so you can keep bugs out. Um, up top, you'll notice the LED light and the backup camera that comes with it already. As you move around to the side up top, there is a ladder prep. So you can uh, buy a ladder separately to get up on the roof for maintenance purposes. It'll just hook right in there for you. Underneath, we have a sewer hose holder. So you can store your sewer hose uh, when it is not in use. <clears throat> As we move around on this side, we have your furnace vent. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your low pressure outside shower with hot and cold water. We have your black tank flush here, so when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you simply hook up your water hose and that'll blast out the black tank for you. Water connections below, we have the city water on the right, so if you're at a campground, you hook up your water hose here and that'll pressurize your lines. On the left, if you're dry camping or boondocking, you'll fill up the fresh water tank, turn on the water pump, and utilize that water. We have this uh, LED light here by all of your connections and dump stations, so if it's nighttime, you can see what's going on. We have your cable connection. And last but not least, we have your on-demand water heater, which is gas only because it's on-demand, but it's about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. Um, it's only using gas when you're running hot water. And that concludes the outside walkthrough of our Gray Wolf 26 MBRR. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the garage all the way in the back here. Nice open floor plan. Get a lot of space in the camper here. And these big picture windows uh, really help open up the camper as well. And we'll get started right inside the entrance door here. We have your main control panel where you can turn on your lights, run your awning in and out. It's also Bluetooth where you can sync your phone to it and turn your water pump on and off. Up on the ceiling, you'll notice the speakers light up blue. There's gonna be another one over to the left-hand side as well as a subwoofer. 
right in the middle with that little um, black piece on the roof there is another light. So actually, as you walk in, it'll spell Gray Wolf uh, with the wolf emblem in there as well. So really neat feature. Um, it's just the little things they do to really make the camper pop and give it that extra, um, extra feeling in here. We have your screen wall in the back, so that will come down. So you can keep the bugs out. As you can see, the patio system just really opens everything up here. We have your dinette, which can also turn into another sleeping area. The table will go down in the middle for you. We have storage up above, and that does have the cabinet fronts. So you can use that as storage while traveling. Large window here. There are two vents in the camper. Uh, one up there on the right-hand side, so you can get cross ventilation while traveling. So if you're hauling anything with fumes, uh, you can keep all of that out. In the kitchen area, we have your microwave up top, lots of LED lights, your range vent, which will vent to the outside, a huge window in the kitchen area, large single bowl farmhouse style sink that is a high rise faucet. It also has the pull out sprayer. We have some drawers, cabinet storage down below. The furnace is directly underneath the oven. The sink also has this prep space cover here. So you can use that um, if you're not using the sink at that point in time. Again, we have that pull out sprayer there. The refrigerator is 12 volt only, which is why we have the juice pack on here. So you can run that while traveling down the road. Um, it's more of a residential size, very large. It's very deep as well. So it doesn't need the same ventilation like the gas electric ones did. So the 12 volt um, is more efficient and much larger as well. Down below, we have your breakers and fuses. And the red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that'll kill all 12 volt power to the battery for you. We have your voltmeter to the right and your carbon monoxide detector. Before we head into the bedroom area, we'll take a look at the entertainment center here. We have your electric fireplace, your stereo right above that, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible, and then your TV connections up top there. Over here to the left, we have your subwoofer that lights up blue in the middle, and we also have a skylight with the cover over it. Digital thermostat, so you can control the furnace and air conditioner from here. We have your pantry over here to the left that does have shelves in it. And as you can see, those will go all the way down, giving you lots of storage in here. Now we'll move through to the bathroom area. In the bathroom, we have this nice corner shower with the skylight right up above it. More storage in here. As you can see. We'll swing around and take a look at the bathroom area. We have your large vent fan up top. That is an exhaust fan, multi-speed. Even more storage over here on the left-hand side. Open storage down below. Then we have your toilet. A very large vanity with storage underneath. Huge single bowl sink. And a corner medicine cabinet, which also gets you more storage. Um, given that it is in the corner as well. We'll go up and take a look in the bedroom area. In the bedroom, we have your queen size bed. We have the LED lights up top there, storage on both sides. Um, you have the overhead storage and then hanging storage on the left and right hand side. Each side of the bed will also have a 12 volt and 110 charge port. On this side, there's also an extra charger for a portable Bluetooth speaker that you can purchase separately. We have your window in here. Up in the corner, there is a place where you can add a TV in here. The connections are already up top. And we have the TV bracket right there. The comforter will come with the camper as well. And as we move over here to the right hand side, you'll notice we have the hanging storage that 110 and 12 volt charge port. And then over here is an inside look at the bathroom, excuse me, the bedroom entrance door here. As we make our way back out to the main living room area, 
we have your uh, thermostat for the on-demand water heater. So you can turn it on and off right there and also adjust the temperature. And then a light switch down below. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 26 MBRR. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.